Thank you very much. The spelling of that last name is L-A, capital V as in Victor, A-L-L-E. I represent the first Senate district with approximately 305 plus thousand people. I would estimate that uh, probably about 70% or more or higher of uh, my constituents are opposed of the Broadwater Project. And as their representative, so am I. Since you are looking uh, at an environmental impact statement, it is important for you to uh, understand that going back to colonial times, people uh, entrusted to the environment and our waterways, to people who were elected as trustees that would protect the water bottoms, the bay bottoms, of their towns. In the town of Brookhaven, the Dongan Patent, gave the trustees that, that power. And so um, today our council members also act as trustees, but in other towns, we still to this day have separately elected trustees whose sole job and responsibility is to protect the water that we enjoy here to make sure that it is not compromised. Secondly, the state of New York and I believe the federal government, New York State, in its last Environmental Bond Act, put in in excess of $200 million to clean up, to protect and preserve Long Island Sound. Federal government, has also made a monetary commitment. Why? Because Long Island Sound is important to our interest, not only recreationally, but commercially. From time to time, fishing and lobstering has been compromised by pollution. The industrialization of Long Island Sound would be a precedent that is historic and would compromise our environment and the quality of life, both aesthetically and environmentally. During this last legislative session, I, along with my assembly uh, colleague, Assemblyman Tom DiNapoli, sponsored two bills. One passed the Assembly, one passed the Senate. The first bill would require the review of underwater leases by OGS for consistency with state coastal zone management policies and allows for local impact. That bill passed the Senate. The second bill clarifies and enhances the Secretary of State's authority over major projects located in environmentally sensitive areas in New York's coastal zone. The result would allow us to be in greater control of our own destiny instead of letting the federal government make decisions for resolving coastal issues. That bill, uh, while well, moved in the Senate, did not pass in the Senate, passed in the Assembly. The importance of that is that Connecticut has such a law and allows them to maintain their delegated powers and allow their state to fully control their destiny on such issues. Uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to resolve some of the problems and pass that legislation, and I'm sure the assemblyman will, if he's not the controller of our great state, will uh, pass that bill in the, in the assembly. The point is, that here today at this hearing are literally hundreds of people that could not sit in front of you. The cars are parked half a mile in either direction here, here today. Lastly, I want to say, and I do not mean this 
as a personal attack on anyone here. Many people in this room went through a very laborious process to defend our interest so that the Shoreham nuclear plant would not open. Many of us in this room felt that the federal process was a corrupted process. And I must tell you, you can hold all the hearings that you want, but when it gets to the end of the day and people make a decision that may have already, the die may have already been cast, there are many of us in the room that feel, regardless of how many hearings you, you call, that this process with FERC is as corrupted as the process before the NRC. Thank you. Lastly, many people have said that this went to federal agency so that officials, local officials, could hide behind the decision and say, well, FERC made that decision. I can tell you, speaking for myself and I know my colleagues, we're not hiding behind anything because we feel in our hearts and our souls in representing the people that we represent that the industrialization of our sound is in the wrong place at the wrong time, and we are opposed to it. Thank you.